Hello everybody, I would like to talk today about one of the most common symptoms that we face in our work as gastroenterologists, which is heartburn. So what is heartburn? It is simply like a feeling of something burning in my stomach. The, the patient says, I feel like that as if there is a fire in my stomach. Uh, it has many causes, sometimes could be related just to the stomach, so it is localized in the stomach, for example, could be related to a uh, chronic infection of the stomach, like uh, what we call the Helicobacter pylori, which is the most common bacteria that affects the stomach, or what we have some rare syndromes like uh, zollinger ilsson syndromes, or if we have uh, a peptic ulcer disease as a complication of many causes. Uh, sometimes could be not just related to the stomach, could be related to the malfunctioning of the junction between the stomach and the esophagus. So, there is like a, a, a sphincter here or a muscle that opens to allow the food to come to the stomach and then should be closed to not allow the food to come back. If it is relaxed, uh, we call hiatal hernia. Uh, this relaxation allows the food to come back from the stomach to the esophagus and that what we call reflux, gastroesophageal reflux disease uh, that can cause heartburn. It is important to know that sometimes the heartburn is not related to uh, gastric or to the gastroenterology department. It could be uh, one of the manifestations of heart problem. That's what we call angina pectoris. So it should be excluded, especially in patients who are elderly, have many comorbidities, have coronary artery disease. Uh, uh, we should uh, do like ECG and we should do consultation for cardiologists. Uh, if we didn't find any cause, sometimes it could be related to what we call functional dyspepsia. So, uh, according to the diagnosis, we have to consider the treatment. If it is cardiac, we should refer to cardiologist. If it is related to uh, H. pylori, we should do eradication for this bacteria. If it is related to the hiatal hernia or the reflux, we have to consider uh, what is the degree of uh, this hiatal hernia? If it is mild to symptoms, we can give like uh, prokinetics with proton path inhibitors, or if it is more large, we can consider some uh, endoscopic treatments for anti reflux, or sometimes we have to go directly to surgery, to surgery like what we call the paroscopic uh, surgeries that can help to uh, strengthen this. Uh, sphincter and prevents the reflux.